You know, you might have realised that this is not my usual spot for filming. And that's because I'm away from home, but rather on a week-long holiday to Italy. But that's not going to stop me from recording some whale tech videos. So yeah, today we're installing and exploring React OS in a VM. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, here we go, we're on the laptop. So, first thing we're going to need to do is open up GNOME boxes and make a new box. Install from file and select the React OS image. Alright, here we go. So we're going to set the name to just React OS. Uh, yep, that all looks good. Create. Here we go. React OS 0.4.14 setup. So we're gonna set the language to UK and press enter to install or upgrade React OS. Um, React OS is in the alpha stage, meaning it's not feature complete and is under heavy development. It is recommended to only use it for evaluation and testing purposes and not as a daily usage OS. Um, yup. Um, let's set the display resolution to that. Uh, yep, that's all good. Um, on partition space, let's just format it as better FS and press enter. And yep, install it in slash react OS. And yeah, it is. Yep, install the bootloader and it's done. Let's boot back in it. Come on. Oh, there we go. So let's boot into React OS and... Hey! This is actually working! So let's zoom in. Welcome to the React OS setup wizard. Next. Um, yup, next. Um, let's just set this to React OS workstation just because, yeah. Next. Whale. Um, let's set the computer name to React OS dash VM. Next. Uh, yep, that's good. Let's go with that theme because, well, why not? Can't really see my hand there, it's too big, but yeah. Yep, it's all good. And finish. React OS is shutting down. Oh, here we go, we're rebooting. There we go. React OS, zoom back out there, and we are in. We're just gonna hit. Come on. So we don't have any sound nor internet. So, but first thing we're gonna do is um, fix the display resolution here. All right. Yup, that looks good. Let's also change the wallpaper because um. Okay, that actually looks really good. Let's keep it. So yeah, this is React OS. Successfully installed in a VM. So this goal is done. Let's explore it. Oh, I just opened up. I pressed the Windows key and it opened up that and my KDE application menu at the same time. So yeah, let's explore it. Excessive games. Oh, they don't have pinball. That's okay. Can we customize this at all? properties. Um, those don't lock the taskbar and yeah, let's also hide just because yeah, hide and active, apply. Oh, do we have internet? Oh hey, we actually have internet. That's nice. So let's move it up to the top and so yeah, this is the React OS. Oh, and we also have a little um, watermark down here. I just look it looks like it's reporting Windows XP Service Pack 3 to um, Wine applications. So yeah, let's just explore it. Accessories, calculator, command prompt, notepad, paint, paint. We can make a masterpiece in paint. I can even stretch this out to be a better resolution. There we go. Let's just go react. C T. O S exclamation mark underline. There we go, React OS. 
on a QEMU virtual machine. So yeah, let's continue. Let's, I wanna change this theme actually. So let's go properties, appearance. So yeah, I think this is good. Is there like a web browser on here or something? Because I am connected to the internet. I can prove that. Command prompt. So yeah, I think this is it for the video. This has been a really short one, but yeah. We have successfully installed and explored React OS in a virtual machine. Well, a QEMU virtual whatever we've done this so yeah thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you have something to say leave a comment and if you want to see more subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye